Colorado State University's master's program meant a lot to me. The factors important to me, and one in particular, was the intensity of the training. I wanted to come out of the program feeling like I wasn't in it just for the grades. I wanted to feel like I was really at a medical school level, essentially having that professional training before actually going into a professional training program. Our program will really work to develop you as an independent learner and as a collaborative learner so that you can work with your peer groups to build networks as well as work with the depth of knowledge that will be required in professional school. Support from the university has built these fantastic facilities that provide students with unprecedented access. These are the best facilities in the world. By the time they finish our master's degree, they will be masters of the discipline. They will see how anatomy and neurobiology and the physiology of the systems come together so that they have a cohesive understanding that they can take forward into whatever careers they choose. Virtual reality is not just an emerging technology, it is a tidal wave coming that is going to change all of healthcare and education. This program gave me the access to a ton of anatomical specimens, and it also opened the door to new ways of teaching. That looked like teaching someone in a VR classroom, being in person in an anatomy lab as a teaching assistant. The rigors of this program have prepared me really well as I begin my education as a doctor. And so it's really important that we invest in these emerging technologies so that we can offer them a more efficient learning environment. The virtual reality software developed at Colorado State University is intimately built into the curriculum of all of the specializations of the master's program. Students have the ability to look at human and animal scans in virtual reality prior to going in and looking at specimens. This really increases their learning efficiency. Currently working as a primary care sports medicine physician, I still lean heavily on the training that I had within the master's program, and so it set an extremely solid foundation for what I continue to use today. When we're evaluating applicants, of course we're looking for people that, that feel that they're determined, that are hardworking. Those are essential qualities, surely. But I think underappreciated is the fact that students who are willing to take a chance, that are willing to put themselves out there, willing to risk being wrong and own that, are the ones that are most likely to get the most out of the instruction. We're gonna push hard, and those that can learn to work collaboratively, to take a chance on one another, on being wrong, are the ones that get the most out of the education.